I call this the the plague of black society, but I call it also the actual exposed of the black women and their true mentality based off the music and based off the the social media stuff that they listen to and they intake. One thing that I learned how to do, like I said before in my previous video, that I don't sit back and try to like deduct live videos of women from like two, three years ago. I try to do it while the shit is hot, while the, the situation is hot and is new. Kind of like Jada Black without the gossip shit. So, um, you have to look at the women that are heavily promoted and heavily listened to in the black community to gauge what kind of female you're dealing with. And then you know what kind of person she really is behind the scenes, behind that cover. See, it doesn't matter what a woman presents to you. It matters what she intakes. It's just like, it doesn't matter if a chick has a nice body. It matters if she doing drugs. Because eventually, if she doing drugs, It'll come out and it'll ruin your life and she might pass away while you sleeping next to her and it might, tra it might, you know, it's it traumatic. It might expose you to something that you, it might make you, tra uh, give you a traumatic experience, right? So a lot of these dudes out here be caping for like women saying that these women are good women and this and this and that. But I always said that you have to go, you always have to go and pick the women who don't intake certain social media and don't listen to certain music. You can know what kind of culture they come from based off the stuff they listen to. Because if they allow one, in, un, one ounce of uh, dysfunction to come in their soul and come in their ear, then nine times out of ten it's going to build and then, then check on during the dysfunctional. Like this. You have a lot of women who say, bruh. You know, they said bro and bra, which is a, a, a masculine term that women are supposed to say. But for some reason, for some reason, they think it's okay to say bro and bra and all this other stuff. And that just shows you that these women are masculine. And the women who said bro and bra, they be first one to try to hit you. It doesn't matter how so-called feminine they are. They will try to hit you and try to square up with you or throw you out or quick to dis, dis, discern you. And people don't get that where a chick will, will walk up and sound like a guy for, for when she gets angry instead of still sound like a female. So it was this video of this chick from the City Girls. Her name is uh, JT. She calls for women to break up with football players that don't get didn't get drafted. So this exposes that these women who said they ride or die or these women who actually uh, pretend like they, they, they like you for who you are or they hang out with you or they, they walk around with you when you're a nerd or a geek, they, their loyalty comes at a price. Their being around you when you don't have anything comes with a price. It's more like. Okay, if I'm with this dude and he gets money, he owes me everything because I was with him. This chick, could, could, she, she goes on to say, if your boyfriend or your husband or somebody doesn't make it to the NFL, you take everything that you did for him back. You take his Jordans back. You take all the dinners he did back. You do all that. You take it back from him. So this shows you that these women put a price on basic necessity things that... It's supposed to be free. And this is why a lot of guys in the Hollywood section who deal with white women, they have a better they have a better relationship because the women don't pretend don't women don't act like this in their presence. Um a lot of them, a lot of uh a lot of um a lot of women from other races get with a man who they like and they enjoy. They get with them in college. But most, actually most of the time, they still stay with that guy. And then when he becomes successful, they don't sit back and say, pay me. I mean, I've seen a lot of people who broke up with their significant other. And they did, it wasn't all this whole pay me money because I was with you when you was broken down. Black women are the only ones who show their hand at, okay, if I'm with this guy, if I'm with this guy, 
when he's down, he owes me something because I believe in the society crap or the feminist crap that I'm owed something because I'm with a dude, right? So you have to look at it like you, there's a price tag on you being with this chick. There's a price tag. So for some reason, it, the price tag is whatever they make up in their head. So if this chick does anything for you, she thinks that you owe her with interest. That's kind of like getting a loan from a bank and then they have to they tell you that you owe them more money than you than they gave you and it's interest. This is how these women are operating on here with by relationships. So this is unappealing overall. Why the fuck would anyone wants to deal with these women when you know that they're going to try to get some mo- as much money as out you as possible? So the hugs and the, the, the hugging you, the taking care of you if you're sick, the taking care of you when you're in a hospital or, you know, giving you sex and all that. All of that comes with a price and the price they come up with is whatever they make in their head. So they with certain guys with skill sets and the nerd, the nerdy girls does the, did it, do this too. They get with guys in, in the tech field and all this other stuff. And then they say, okay, if he doesn't do what I want him to do, I'm going to take him for everything he got because he owes me this. And I want everybody who, if, if, if you're a black guy with a so-called good black woman, I want you to pull this prank. I want you to, um, I want you to pretend like you breaking up with your chick and then see what she does and see what she say. See if she she takes this route. If she does take this route, then you break up with her immediately. I mean, they expose themselves more and more. I'm telling you right now, man. So So, so more and more they're exposing themselves to be what they really are and turning themselves into relationships into a business thing, a business deal. They're not they're they're not getting into relationships for relationship they get in the relationships for you to come with a price tag this is why it's a oh yeah you you what you gonna do for me and I'm not gonna do for you and if I if I do for you then you're gonna owe me more than I put into the relationship or put into you so dial that back if they buy you any shoes or clothes or whatever they're gonna want whatever they paid for they want 10 times the credit for it so if they paid a $60 shirt for you, they're gonna want probably a hundred dollars back, or even sixty dollars more. So you're gonna you're gonna have to pay a hundred and twenty dollars back to them because that shirt was from them. So you're not you're you're pretty much basically paying to be with them, and you're never going to make up for what you be with them. So this is the feminist. That this is the feminist shit that uh, Zero was talking about with these women. That they have a feminist mindset. And you can gauge somebody based off the stuff that they give you. This is why you don't ever take a set shit from them. I mean, I remember when I took something from... I'm not talking about a, a, a American woman. So, when you take something from some chick here, she will always bring it up. I remember a chick gave me... Um, a game. It was called, it was uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, right? I had the game for over two years, right? She got mad at me and magically wanted it back. And even though she gave me the game, I didn't pay for it. She gave it to me free because she wasn't playing it. But just because I'm, I, I said something that she didn't like, she magically said, I want my game back. So I took the game and told I told my friend, I said, okay, I was like, dude, why would she want a game that she's not going to play? She just wanted it back. So I gave it to her. I learned that right away. Then you buy your own shit. 
you never take any gifts from them. And this is the, this is one of the reasons why a lot of guys are and, and, and the shit I hate this shit when they when they say shit like this. Red pill rage and all this other stuff. No, they want certain guys to pay more than they want guys to pay certain more than other guys. And even the guys that they do do something for, they want them to pay them back for it with labor, which is, uh, you know, sex labor. So, I mean, I kind of like it, it, it's useless to try to get in a relationship in America with these women with the mindset they have. This kind of exposes them for who they really are. And anyone, any other chicks agree with this kind of shit is, is just like them. And I want to ask you, um... There's a certain situation that happened with me on DJ Cooter's panel, or I think Zero's panel, of 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 of, of um, Daniel George or Sister George or whatever her name is, and she started coming at me talking all this trash. It's funny to me that she doesn't show these kind of kind of videos and kind of topics on her channel to prove the point that men aren't proven. It, it, it's weird to me that she doesn't put this out. She they put their own narrative out, and and, and it's the same thing with Kendra D, who doesn't put these videos out and countered it she puts her own spin on stuff because i exposed kendra d uh back in 2019 in the summertime when she was talking about how she had multiple men in her phone and if she wanted to get men on her phone she would uh she would just call them up so i don't believe none of these chicks man and i want everybody to watch out and and i'm gonna put the link in in, in uh the link after this right so 